everybody, it's Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity. On my channel I talk to you about my sewing journey, my love for fabric, patterns and just general sewing chit chat. So if that's something that sounds of interest to you, please keep on watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here, I hope you like what you see and consider subscribing. So um, I am filming this in the evening but it's still light outside and I'm hoping that the lighting will be good enough for me to do bring to you this fabric haul. So I mentioned on my last Friday sews that obviously I'm getting married and will be a little bit busy over the next couple of weeks what with getting married and also going on honeymoon but I'm really conscious that um, I want to have some content for you to watch um, while I'm obviously at, um, on my honeymoon. So what I've been doing is the fabric that I have been purchasing over the past couple of weeks outside of, um, you know, some of my fabric shop tours, I have been kind of hoarding ready to do a massive fabric haul um, video. So I've had a look through the different, um, I'm looking down on the floor because it's all down on the floor here, but I've had a look at um, the fabrics that I've got and I think I've probably got enough for a couple of fabric hauls so this is probably going to be a three or a four part fabric haul for you um, and hopefully you will enjoy the fabrics that I've purchased um, so this will be part one and the fabric haul that I'm going to show you on this fabric haul is from two companies and um, the first one is Felicity Fabrics and the second one is Beyond the Pink Door so I will, without further ado, go into these um, fabric hauls for you. So keep on watching. Felicity Fabrics is where my first haul is from. And that is a beautiful company that is run by a mother and daughter duo um, called Caroline and Fliss. Um, Caroline's mum and Fliss is the daughter and they are the owners of Felicity Fabrics. Now, I have purchased from Felicity Fabrics in the past. And I am never, ever disappointed when I get a delivery from them they send it in the most beautiful packaging um it's such a treat when it comes and it always has a little envelope with um a swatch of the fabric and yeah it's just beautifully packaged so um i don't shop from with them very often um i'm not sure um they do beautiful fabrics but it's not always as bold enough for me um you know there's other fabric stores that i tend to gravitate towards more but they do beautiful fabrics and i have got quite a few set aside that i've purchased in the past that are set aside for very special projects um and the reason why i purchased off them recently is because they had a sale um and the sale was absolutely fantastic it was kind of too good to be true um so i went online and purchased some fabrics from them so it came the other day in this beautiful packaging with Felicity Fabrics um, box which is just lovely um, and I actually ordered let me just see one two three four items of fabric now I had about eight in my basket but I am trying to be a lot more considered with the fabric that I buy and also think about what I've already got in my stash which now I have sorted out the sewing room I have a better understanding of the fabrics that I've got and also because I've been sewing for a while now I also know what I like and what I don't like a little bit more and combining that with sewing my colours hopefully I'm making more considered choices and also I'm trying to set myself a bit more of a budget when I go online because otherwise I just get carried away and end up buying absolutely loads so that is the plan so the fabrics then come in this beautiful tissue paper and i had this lovely card which is handwritten get it to and it says hi adele we hope you're well thank you so much for your order enjoy sewing with your beautiful fabrics take care caroline and fliss and that's really beautiful and yeah that's going to go up on my wall when i actually get the walls decorated so I'll put that there and then yeah the fabrics are all wrapped up in tissue paper with the um little sticker i don't think because i got all these in the sale i don't think i've got the fabric samples and everything in there um which i understand because it's like the sale so they're not going to be wanting to do that on there but usually when you purchase something you get a lovely little fabric sample um so yeah, the first one that I purchased was a bisque, excuse the rustling, 
was a viscose and it was yellow pebbles and it was just delicious it's basically yellow viscose with brown and black pebbles dashed all over it and i ordered let me just have a look two meters of this and it basically cost me 11 pounds for two meters so that is an amazing price and it's such a beautiful quality viscose as well that this is going to make some lovely summer dresses so yeah that has got lovely drape yellow is in my color palette it's like a it's quite a bright yellow but it's virgin on mustard so um yeah i like that um as you know i, ma I made um a tammy handmade henna trousers and etta top camisole in a yellow leopard print from rainbow fabrics and i really love how that looks and so this kind of caught my eye and yeah 11 pounds for two meters so yeah five pound fifty a meter which was a really good price so that was my first one my second fabric is a satin jacquard and i just i love jacquard anyway and it was in a lovely navy color and it was um three six six pound a meter so i did only get one meter of this but i'll try and show you the jacquard effect on it so if we get up close can you see the jacquard there it's really, and it's got these lovely um rust um rusty colored um and creamy colored flowers all over it and it's just really silky it's like obviously it's a satin so it's lovely and i'm just gonna make some kind of camisole in this i think that'd look really nice as a little cami um and that's what i've got planned for that try and fold these up so they're neat when i uh put them away so that's that one and my next fabric was something that is a little bit different for me and um, this is a well i can't remember what this one was called actually i think it's called scarlet yeah it will be scarlet and this is a viscose and it's a stripe in this beautiful it's coming up quite bright there it's like a wine color with a white white and wine and it's a let's have a look what kind of stripe it is it is a vertical stripe and i just thought that would make some really something really really nice now i have talked about um potentially making some kind of jumpsuit with stripes and maybe doing stripes one way this way and then stripes um, horizontal and vertical and see what that looks like so yeah it kind of look that way and then that way um in the legs so that's something that i wanted to do now that was very very inexpensive it was two pound fifty half a meter so so five pound a meter so i actually got for two and a half meters there oh no hang on a second it was less than that i can't do any maths today so i got five meters five meters i got two and a half meters of this for seven pound fifty so that's just an amazing price so yeah really like that and it's a little bit, is it a little bit see-through? Obviously because it's white. But actually, I hold it up, I don't think might need to be lined, but yeah, I thought it was really gorgeous. And as I said, I've got two and a half meters of that, which is lots. So that's that one. And then my final fabric from Felicity Fabrics. Again, couldn't resist because it was two pound half a meter so i got i got um two meters of this and it's a leopard print viscose which you know you can never have too much leopard print and i've got loads of leopard print but as i said couldn't resist the bargain of it so that's really nice and again that's a viscose again not not got massive massive plans for for the leopard print but thinking probably i might make out of this the indigo by tilly and the buttons so yeah indigo in this one some kind of jumpsuit in this one camisole in this one probably the any um, the one by tammy handmade the scallop neck one the etty etta etty oh, i don't know etna 
Well, it begins with an E anyway, that one. And then the yellow, not sure what I'm going to make with this, probably a dress of some description for my holidays. So they were my Felicity Fabrics haul. So moving on from Felicity Fabrics, the other shop beyond the pink door run by Andrea and Keris, another mother and daughter com uh, duo. Um, I shop from a lot, as you know. Um, beyond the pink door, I used to see Michelle the sewing bunny buy from beyond the pink door all the time. And I used to look at the website and I used to think, nothing used to grab me i used to think i'm not sure what all the raving's about to be honest with you and then i started watching andrea's lives that she does on a sunday so for those of you that don't know she does a live um stream on youtube and she basically shows off her fabrics and since i've been watching that you get to see the fabrics in a whole different light it's like going into the shop well it's not obviously it's not the same as going into the shop but it's it, it's as near as you can get um virtually and that has basically made me spend loads of money with them. <laughs> so I think it was every live I was buying fabrics from them because they were just so gorgeous. Um, and they have new arrivals in every week. And yeah, I've purchased quite a lot from them. And I also subscribe to this subscription box that they've started. Um, there has been three boxes so far. I was lucky enough to get the first and the second. The third box I completely forgot about um and so didn't get that which is a bit of a shame because i'm a bit of a collector so i like to get all of them but never mind um but i have now subscribed to get it every month so now i don't need to worry and do the mud dash for it um to get the box so yeah i do buy a lot from andrea and keris the quality of the fabric is amazing it's you know i trust them so much with my fabric purchases they are just um such a lovely pair and yeah it's just really really lovely company to buy from so i do buy quite a lot so i've got a couple of um fabrics to show you from there that i have been kind of hoarding to show you and the first two are linen linens which i have never purchased before um i've had visco linens but i've never purchased actual linen so it's quite exciting and i wanted to buy them from somebody that you know i trusted so that's what i did okay so the first two as i say are linens i'll get them out and just gonna they're different linens so i just need to check what they are so i can tell you correctly um so the first one is an enzyme washed linen and I got two meters of this and it was 15 euros per meter. And this is the, oh, it's such a lovely color. It's in cognac, which is this rusty color. And you can see the um, texture in the linen. Um, it's obviously much stiffer than a viscose. There you go, that, that probably makes you see it better. You can see the light through it, that it's got this lovely texture. Now, this is an enzyme washed linen, and I, enzyme washing, I have looked it up to see what it actually means. And I'm just going to read this out. It's a um, textile manufacturing technique, technique, which is a cellulose enzyme is applied to the denim or the linen, and um, the attended effect is a faded appearance um, and a softer feel. So, yeah, that is what that means. And I'm very excited. I really want to make out of this some trousers or if I had enough, the Zadie jumpsuit. But I don't know how much fabric the, the Zadie jumpsuit actually takes. But, um, you know, I quite often buy fabric without a plan for it. And this was one of this is one that I knew I just wanted some linen. So, yeah, I really love that colour. It's in my colour palette. It's probably not quite orange, but it's not quite as bright as that. Um, but yeah, really like that. They still have this in stock as well, um, although I bought it a while back. Um, and then the other fabric that I got was um, a, a ra I don't know how you say it, Rami, Rami linen, and I got it in this petrol colour. It's got a much different texture to it. It's a bit. I mean, if I hold them up so you can see the difference. Might be good. And the great thing is that Andre Andrea did this as well on the um, live, so you were able to see kind of the difference in texture. Right. So that's that's got a more raised, bumpy feel to it, and then that's got more of a smoother feel. 
so very different and they really complement each other so yeah i got this one and again i got two meters this was 16 pound a meter so a little bit more expensive and again i had to look at what it was so rami is a linen like fabric um, but it's made from a nettle plant so it's not made from the same fabric as as linen um, and it's made from a nettle plant called china grass um, and rami requires water and pesticides to grow but does not require chemicals to degum the fibers so it's very natural so yeah it's got a linen feel but it's not linen so yeah that's i've got that as well which i think is gorgeous too so those were those two again i got these in different colors and i think they have still got some in stock so that's those so the next fabric that i got was a denim and it was a lightweight denim four and a half ounces and it was this one here so it feels like a chambray uh, it's got this gorgeous orange back to it which is really lovely and that was 11 pound a meter so i got two meters of that for 22 euros and yeah that's just going to make some kind of lovely jumpsuit or um some trousers of some description um i'm thinking maybe i could make the nina lee trousers out of this that'd be quite nice and yeah it's just a bit different it's got that it's plain but it's got this orange kind of speckle running through it which i just thought was really really lovely so yeah, there's that one as well. Fold that up. Right, the next fabric is a little bit out there, but you know me, I like what I like. Um, and it's a See You at Six fabric, which I have never ever purchased a See You at Six fabric. I love it, but it's very, very pricey. And yeah, I just I can never justify it really. Um, I um, but saw this and I just thought, I know exactly what I want to make with this. Well, there's two options, but I know I want to make some kind of jacket with it. Um, and it's a See You at Six cotton canvas garbadine twill, and it is called Habana. And this is the fabric. So it's got um, leopards on it, which I love. And it's got images of Frida Kahlo on it, who, you know, she's just um, such got a striking appearance, hasn't she? Um, and she was a Mexican painter known for her portraits and self portraits. And yeah, there's a lot of um, prints out there with her on it. And yeah, I just really, really like. Um, so yeah, I've got, I think, two meters of that. I've got two meters or one and a half. Let me check. I've got two meters of this. Um, and I am either going to make the Heather Blazer with it or the Ilford jacket, one or the other. I am kind of moving towards the heather blazer now um i have both patterns the ilford jacket is on my make nine um so i am keen to get moving with that but yeah i think probably what i'm gonna have to do is make a twirl a twirl of um both of those and decide which one I like the best really um yeah i was always set on the ilford jacket but i'm airing towards heather blazer but yeah let me know which one you think i should make i'm kind of a bit disappointed i didn't get a bit more fabric because i'm thinking wouldn't this look cute as a jacket and short come like suit if you know what i mean um not tight shorts kind of like almost pilotti shorts but not long short shorts oh, i don't know what i'm saying basically shorts to about you know just above the knee nothing too short but yeah i'm thinking that would look really not nice so hmm maybe i might have to get a bit more fabric but i don't know how much the heather blazer takes so maybe i'll have to have a look into that but yeah let me know what your thoughts are what do you think i should make with this heather blazer or ilford jacket or something else let me know because i just absolutely love this fabric it's gorgeous gorgeous quality um yeah it's not too heavyweight 
um, but nice enough for, for a light jacket. So yeah, that was a gorgeous one and that was £21 a metre. So yeah, that's a lot of money for me. Sorry, not £21. When I'm talking about Beyond the Pink Door, I'm talking about euros, by the way. This was €21 euros per metre. So yeah, that was a lot of money for me to spend on fabric, but I see it as a coat. So yeah, if you're going to spend more fa money on fabric, coats are where I will kind of push it out there. So yeah, that's gorgeous. And um, yeah, I'd probably do quite a plain lining if it was lined um, for the Ilford. I don't think you have to line it, but yeah, it'd be quite a plain fabric inside. So mm, will it be a plain fabric inside? Actually, I just had a little brainwave. I'm thinking maybe have that as the lining fabric because that looks actually quite nice. Oh yeah. Let me know what you think. That's what I'm thinking at the moment anyway. So that is my fabric haul from Felicity Pab Fabrics and Beyond the Pink Door. Let me know what you think about them. Um, let me know recommendations for the fabric because I get loads of inspiration when you tell me about patterns I'd never heard of. Um, so yeah, let me know which ones you like, which ones you think would match with, with patterns. And yeah, I look forward to reading all the comments about that. And what I'll do is in the notes, if any of this stuff is still in stock, probably isn't with Felicity Fabrics because it was in the sale, um, but definitely with Beyond the Pink Door, I'm pretty sure they've got all of those still back in stock. So I will link all a little bit into the notes below. Okay. So if you've liked what you've seen, please click the like button. If you don't subscribe already, please consider subscribing. If you want to support my channel further, um, more than just watching and subscribing then I do have a Kofi account which as you all know I'm trying to save up for some lighting for in this sewing room so I can record well into the night and um for sewing in in here as well um so yeah if you want to um support me a little bit more then you can always buy me a coffee with my Kofi account but as I always say you're much more important than that and um, just you being here and watching and commenting and getting some inspiration from my videos is all I need so yeah um, that's it. That's all from me. And this is the end of part one of my fabric haul. So happy sewing. Bye.